okay welcome back guys so right now let's create this 3d logo let's assume someone is into wine business and you are asked to create a logo for the person there are varieties of ways on how you can uh, come up with this logo so let me still show you how you can create this i've already getting a kind of a wine png stuff like a bottle like this which i downloaded on the google so i'm going to use erase color to erase it and remove uh the background so after that has been done i'll position into the uh center then the next thing i'm going to do so after we have this the next thing is to change the color and now we're we going to do that we have to make sure that this is positioned to the center that's the essence of turning off the grid so i have to divide this into two because i want to give it two different color after placing this i will turn on the grid then click on dragging mode i will drag it to this point then after dragging it i will just position and uh, uh, cut it like this after that has been done i will cut it out in copy i will go back to mask i will click the outer part now i will reposition it back remember the grid is not working for it so after positioning back i will use the position arrow to move it perfectly to position it very well after that has been done i will go in back to the color i will change the color to something like blue okay but it has to be deep anyway so after positioning that i will be satisfied with this then i will go into the um the cover I will change the cover to yellow for the sake of the design after that has been done i will merge the two together okay but before that i will go into the color i will make it more deeper a little bit sorry i will make it more deeper Yes, we don't need this. So after that has been done, I will merge the two together. After merging it, I will reduce it a little bit. Let's try whether the uh, relative position work at this juncture. So what do I need to do? I will increase the size a little bit then using my relative position i will go in back to my gallery then bring the bottle of wine i mean the cup for the wine okay the wine cup i will use sorry i will use the razor to remove the background after done that i will go to the color change it to white so after that has been achieved i will manually using this okay then i will position it to the center not uh, making it go left not going right now i will make the two together then use the relative erase color to erase it now it will look exactly like this very cool after that has been achieved i will go in back to the text area sorry i will type um lizzy okay lizzy we have a lizzy i will go to the text having a better test for this so i prefer to use um mortizera so using mortizera i will use the bold one i will increase the size to my text just as perfect as this so it's not in there after position it to the center as this i will change the color to yellow i will go in back to a this the same test type wine wines and liquor okay liquor okay so i will reduce the size very well have its position around here 
then it will be something cool like this i will not let this exceed this or better still i will increase the size to this then use the relative position to position into a so that i'll be able to give a rank to this okay after this has been done then the next thing to do is to centralize after centralizing this then what do i need to do next i have to bring this one down a little bit okay now we have the uko i will go back to this shape i will crop it into i will tap on radius just give it like two percent radius then i will drag it to come here so i'm getting here what do i need to do i will return it back to where i select it now reposition exactly to this part now crop it so i will change the color to red now centralized after the centralization i will go to the text area takes your curiosity okay curiosity so we have dot three like this so we have text your curiosity okay then i have to use a script font for this so we look for a better script font that will be able to be okay for this so i'm still checking out of this so guess i prefer to use this if this could be cool but i was thinking it's too long so the next thing i will do is just look for better one and i guess I can be able to find one here which will exactly suit the text okay so we still need to keep on checking until when we find one when you're able to find it you walk through the gallery for us to be able to secure one so I prefer this to so increase the needs to some extent like this after the increment and placement the next thing we need to do is to put in uh put in the call icon so we have to put in the call icon so you go back to your pc lab that's the sense of having the same pc lab with me so tap okay then you crop out the one you want to use first so take it for instance i'm using this first okay that's the first one so i'm going to position this after reduction then i will use the relative position so at that juncture i will copy after copy this the next thing i'm going to do is to put in the logo plus two three four seven or three four six zero seven eight one now for the sake of this training i'm using my own number now position it here i want to just copy the uh copy the icon i will crop it then move into the second one which i needed i will drag it down okay to this level reduce the size a bit now reposition it well now what do i need to do next i'm going to copy this then putting in the leasing so we just say at lizzy okay at lizzy underscore underscore wines underscore wines so we're going to position that here then we're going to use the relative position go to the color change the color to white change this to white as well and boom we are done so the next thing we need to do at this juncture is to have the old stuff being saved but i'm thinking of increasing this a little bit so after the increment we do the relative position we increase this a bit as well and we position it well so now we drag this one down a little bit 
so everything seems to be cool we save it with transparent background okay and this is cool after that has been done then the next thing we need to do is to we might decide to change the color to black and we'll have this result but let's leave that we go to our chrome browser and then we go to our photo p so on getting to photo p on getting to photo p we'll make sure we'll get to photo p first so if you're not loading reload it So let's wait for it to load. So after loading, then the next thing we need to do is to select uh, the PSD file which we want to use. So I want to type from computer, accessing my gallery, and go to my drive, drive straight away. So I'm getting to my drive. I will go to my drive directly. I will locate the one I want. So take it for instance, I want to use this. So you have to wait after the selection for it to load. So after loading, after loading, then the next thing is to go to the layer, I will double tap here. After double tap, I will hide this. Then click on the file, click on open and place. Bring the design we just make so we'll go in the then give it a i will tap okay then after placement okay you see it's already placed properly i will go back to the file and click on save with smart object so now we are going to wait and see how it look after smart object of detail we tap on the file sorry we tap on 3d so now the result is out we need to modify this to make sure it work we go into the lighting part tap on the light and reduce the fill to 60 percent after that you check you can see it's brighter so now we go to the effect and go to effect here now go to the fill and change it to 60 as well tap on the layer you see it's more brighter now we can go to the file go to export and click on png so we look at the result after we save the left view what we have here so you can see what we got so i believe all learned from thing from here you can uh, you can use this method to create any kind of related design or logo relating to this thanks for watching god bless you.